three, two, one. So many really interesting things out here at Nakano Broadway, which is like a shopping complex that stocks loads of brand new but also secondhand collectibles, anime things, superhero things, fans flock here. It's actually really one of the things to see while you're in Tokyo. And on the topic of superheroes today on Rugby World Cup Daily, we actually uh, got in touch with a few real-life rugby superheroes, almost the size of this guy, and asked them to select their 15, their team of the tournament. Interesting selection choices. Take a look. It's been quite hard to uh, pick the team because uh, there's been some amazing players in the Rugby World Cup. I think I've come up, come, come up with a decision. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Well, I've gone with an Englishman, Mako Vinopola. It's taken him a while to arrive at this tournament, but it was well worth the wait. Having had no match time before the, you know, before the tournament started, he's come in at the in the biggest games of it and produced Bongi Mbonambi. I mean, anyone who can keep Malcolm Marks on the bench must be must be doing all right. Carl Sinclair, if nothing else, for his, uh, for his Maori sidestep, for his try, uh, and, his, uh, and his celebration for the way he scored as well. Mario Toji, no surprise there. I think he leads the tournament in turnovers, and uh, yeah, he's been magnificent, really, so I uh, don't think anyone would argue with that. Franco uh, Mostar, which is mm. quite an unusual selection. He's sort of been in and out of the Springbok team, but I just love his energy. I love the way he comes up with crucial plays at the right time. Tom Curry from mm. England, I think he's been magnificent, given that he's only 21. It's pretty incredible, some of the performances that he's put in against guys who have been playing a lot longer than him. Number seven, I've gone with uh, Justin Tippering. Amazing performances in the opening few games, particularly against Australia. I think he's been Herculean, really. Michael Leach, you know, the guy's a real superstar, incredibly humble. The pressure of, of captaining the host nation in the World Cup is tough and he's handled it brilliantly. Number nine, uh, another South African, Faf de Klerk. His influence on the game is, is unbelievable. It's, you know, he, every, every time he plays, he, you know, he affects the outcome of the game. So, uh, you know, I think the semi-final was, was kind of you know, case in point. George Ford, his performances, particularly in the semi-final against New Zealand, was magnificent. Well, I put Owen Farrell at the centre. Yeah, yeah, it's quite hard not to. I mean, he's a, he's a real warrior, isn't he? And, uh, you know, he's, he's been magnificent. His performance against Australia was superb. Picked the best haircut in the, uh, in, oh, in the Rugby World Cup. no, you haven't. But no, I've not picked him for his haircut. I've picked him for, his, uh, for the way he's played. Matsushima on one wing, I think he's been magnificent. Yeah. Um, you know, just incredible. I, I picked um, Semi Redraja. I mean, he's sort of centre to come wing, but uh, wherever you pick him, he's been magnificent. And then Liam Williams, who was unlucky to not play uh, fullback in the uh, semi-final. Normally you'd expect Bowden Barrett to be there, but mm. still can't get used to him not playing 10. So uh, I'm going to go with Liam Williams. Richie McCaw, read your tweets. Don't know any of the football players said he was top and went for the second game, except the world was taking a controversial. Would you ever like to coach the All Blacks one day? Probably not. I think I'd just get too frustrated, you know. When I was a player, I could get out and uh, do something about it. When you're a coach, uh, I think you've got to have a different way of looking at it. But uh, I'd like to coach young kids one day. I'd like to know who the most inspiring, hardworking All Black you've played with in your career. I think one of the guys I was lucky to play with uh, along for most of my career was uh, Dan Carter. The amount of work he used to put in to make sure he was right to uh, play on Saturday, you know, meeting everyone around him, uh, made sure they were doing their little bit and um, you know, having him direct things out in the field was uh, made, made it pretty easy uh, as a number seven. Who was the best ever you played with in your career or against? The player I played against that was always a big challenge was uh, the Wallaby, George Smith. He was always pretty tough, um, played regularly um, throughout a lot of my career. I always enjoyed playing alongside uh, Kieran Reid and Jerome Kaino, and it was a loose forward trio. Um, they, were, they were pretty good. He asked if he'll be ready to suit up in the number seven jersey if she calls him up. Um, I don't think I'd be uh, the right person for that. It'd last about 20 seconds, I reckon, before I got broken these days, so I'm just going to enjoy watching. If you could make two changes to any aspect of world rugby, what would they be? Well, that's a, uh, that's a tricky question. Um, one of the things that I, I get a bit frustrated by, a scrum can eat up a lot of time in, in the game, so I'd probably, uh, if I was going to change something, would be uh, stop the clock for when uh, awarded a scrum and then it starts the game once the ball comes in, so you get quite a bit more rugby. What do you think of Faf's hair? 
Well, he's a back, so he obviously does a bit of time in front of the mirror before he gets out there. And yeah, probably as a forward, we just wish we could do the same. Okay, yeah. You ready? Welcome to the show. We had a big golf day planned for today, which was cancelled. Yeah, I this heard is about this. This is the next best thing. And I was supposed to be playing against John Smith, so... No, you have Elmer Smith. I have Elmer Smith. It's much better, much better. No offence, Smitty, but this is far more fun. Here on hole one, we have the conversion challenge. What do you play off again, Martin? I'm off 14. Ooh, so are you off scratch? I'm, I mean, the fact that I know how to hold a club at this stage. I'm sorry, Springboks, Southern Hemisphere teams. I'm really going to try. Oh. oh, that's underneath, hey? No, that was over. Was that over? Yeah, that was over. I'll, oh. give, you that. I'll give you that. Oh, finned it. That dip, hey? That was under. Where's it? Where's a ref? I'll tear him over. Oh, that's good. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was over. Definitely over. Southern Hemisphere pressure. No, oh. that was terrible. Oh. So I've won this one, have I? <laughs> we are going to kick for touch and we're going to see who gets closest to the flag. On the inside of the tire, okay. Yeah. Oh my God. That's the Woo! one. That's the one. Look at that. What did that come off? That... Beyond the tire. No. The assistant ref says you're out. That's, That's good. a good one. That's excellent. Oh, come on. Touch judge, come on. Did you know cricket at all? Yeah. I've know, worked on the Cricket World Cup. Do you know Graham Swan? Yeah. He looks exactly like Graham Swan. Oh, oh. nailed it. Oh, it's going in the house. <laughs> no, pushed it, pushed it. Yeah, <laughs> just destroyed a few Japanese people's houses. Nope. Ah, uh -uh, it's going the wrong way. I am literally leading the side down so badly. No, that, that's a... Oh. oh, she, Elma has absolutely <laughs> nailed that. Finally. That's you as well. That's yours. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Are we insured? Or will rugby picking this, I'm not picking the insurance up? I love ice cream. Like, I love ice cream that much. I don't know if I love ice cream this much. Jolly Sun, would you like an ice cream? Yes, Jolly Sun wants an ice cream. Yes, we want an ice cream. Big ice cream. Yeah. You don't get a choice. You have to sample all of it. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, coffee, milk, almond, grape, green tea. Arigato oh. gozaimasu. Mm -hmm. oh, delicious. The stop it tastes like yogurt. Definitely strawberry. You know, you get brain freeze, everything is frozen up. I think that's banana. I think this might make it faster. The grape's quite nice. I think the blue one is bubble gum. So this, this is one of the stranger things I've done in the name of Rugby World Cup Daily. I'm only halfway there. Oh, there you go! She was at the rugby! I used to like ice cream a lot. I think it's going to be a while until I have one again. Thank you for watching Rugby World Cup Daily and sticking with me through all of this. We will be back with more Rugby World Cup daily. Anything else you'd like me to tackle? I say it's Alma 1, 40 centimeters ice cream, no.